Hi, my name's Brian Katzon. I'm doing this video for a friend of mine who has two of these 1954 Spartans for sale. This trailer is an Imperial Mansion and his other trailer is a 54 Manor. As you can see, we're here in Nunn, Colorado. This trailer is a very straight trailer. It does have a little uh, hail damage, uh, primarily noticeable on the roof. This is probably the worst part, the very back end cap. You might be able to see some there. And the only other place that it shows up a little bit is on the rub rails, but nothing serious. As you can see, the rails are nice and straight. All four corners look just like this, which is the hardest part in this whole trailer to get repaired or replaced. All four corners are decent. Uh, they're all repairable. I think this one has one little rip in it, but it's on the bottom, and if you repaired it once you straightened that out, you wouldn't even see it. This panel here, I'd say, is probably about the worst panel. It does have a rip in it and would have to re-replace the center skirt panel I'm talking about. That's an easy repair. It's just some straight aluminum with a bend in it. But the body panels are all really very nice. There's one front corner panel that needs a, a little repair, but easily fixed. Steps are in great shape. The skirts are very decent. The tires are in good shape. Uh, very serviceable. The wheels have been repacked. This particular trailer was towed out from Kentucky two, three years ago. Both door handles are very nice. All of the uh, running lights are in good shape, have all the lenses and whatnot. I can't tell you that they all work or not, although this trailer was wired to go out here and could be done so again, I'm sure. I think there's only one broken window. I'm doing two videos on both trailers, one inside and one outside. The inside of this trailer is really nice, uh, considering it's unrestored. are nice the skirts are nice this corner is uh, the only body panel really with any damage on it and that's easily repaired from the inside there's no rips in it uh, so it's very accessible after you take the paneling off from the inside the hitch is decent obviously has to be pretty good he towed it out from Kentucky 70 mile an hour or whatever. As you can see, all the plexiglass is decent and the center glass is good. Same deal, rub rails on this side. Nice and straight, the whole body is very decent. I don't know if you can see, but you have, you have to look for the hail damage on the rub rails. There's not a lot of it. Oh, there is one panel I missed to show you that I had a couple of little, that's on the skirt, a couple little punctures. That's right here, I think, when you work that out from the back and flatten it out, It'll hardly be noticeable, especially once you pulse it all up. And same thing, 
if you did want to replace that, it's an easy panel to replace because it's just straight metal with a bend in it, straight aluminum. And then we get back here to the electrical outlet that they used in the 53, 54 on. It's a real nice little panel that opens up, it still works. They clean up like diamonds. As I said, my name is Brian Casson. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to call me. 970-302-9137. The owner of the trailer is Will Sanders. And his number is 970-371-1368. Thanks for looking. And I'm going to do an interior one on this.